Hello, this is a demo of the AnyConnect Management VPN Tunnel feature. Uh, thanks to Ned Zaldivar for helping me get this lab set up and configured and working. Uh, we recorded this video for a customer looking to implement uh, this feature. So let's get started here. So the AnyConnect Management VPN uh, Tunnel feature works like this. So uh, you have a remote VPN user and before the remote user is even logged on to uh, their PC, there is a management tunnel that gets built using machine certificate authentication. This happens automatically behind the scenes, so no user interaction is required. And this is only done by using a, a machine certificate for authentication here. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, there's two benefits. Uh, one of them is to allow patch management of these remote PCs. Some of these PCs never come back into the corporate network because they're traveling all the time. So having this tunnel up allows network administrator to remotely patch OS updates, antivirus updates, etc., update scripts of these remote devices. Now the second benefit is uh, some users have OS logon scripts that require the corporate network connectivity before they can log on to their machine. So these scripts could be uh, drivers, uh, the uh, connecting mapping to drives or printer drivers, or updating uh, some sort of scripts before they can successfully log on to the machine. So this uh, m meets both those two, uh, those two requirements there. Now once the VPN tunnel is up, the user is completely unaware, and the user starts to log on to their machine, um, now that management tunnel can switch over with disconnect and switch over to a user tunnel mode. And the user VPN tunnel could be just like a typical VPN tunnel using AAA authentication like username, password, or one-time token, etc. Or SAML, or even user certificate authentication. And uh, user certificate authentication is the easiest uh, from a user experience because it requires no interaction of the user. It just happens automatically because of the user certificate. This, P, uh, this feature is available started in AnyConnect 4.7 uh, for both Windows and Mac, so please check the 4.7 release notes for further details. So the demo I'm going to show you is a management uh, tunnel built and then also we're going to switch over to the user tunnel using user certificate authentication. Alright, so let's take a look here. Um, right now my Windows 10 test VM is not logged on, you can see here. So I haven't logged in yet. And um, let's switch over to the ASA side and let's do a refresh. And you can see here that there's a Windows 10 VM dash test that's been logged on. That's the username of the machine. And if I go to details, I can see that uh, uh, the tunnel is up and the authentication mode is certificate, meaning that it is using a machine certificate to authenticate. Now let's go ahead and bring up the user, log into the user machine and see the user tunnel. Okay, you see that the AnyConnect client now has loaded and it's automatically establishing a VPN session and is connected to a tunnel group called user auth. Okay, and if I drill a little deeper into this session, click on the VPN tab, I can see that the user tunnel is now active and the management connection state is disconnected. That means the management tunnel has dropped. Uh, if I go back to um, the any connect side or ASA side I refresh my session and you can see here now my tunnel has switched over to a user called Jerry and it's got my policy and statistics that goes along with it if I click on details uh, now you can see that um, the tunnel it's also built using a certificate the authentication mode is certificate that means use, it's using a user cert uh, with the name of Jerry now let's go ahead and take a look at the user side I'll bring up my console for my certificates uh, provisioned on this test VM. Uh, in the local certificate, local computer and un underneath the certificate store, there's the certificate for the machine authentication, right? That brought the management tunnel. It was a Windows 10 VM dash test. And if I went back over to down to the user, go up to the user 
right here for current user, expand this, go to the, the certificate store, and you can see here this is the user certificate that got used to bring up the user tunnel uh, issued to Jerry. Okay, so now let's go ahead and log out of here to show you the transition again. I'm going to go and sign out. Okay, so now I've signed out of my machine and switch back over to the Windows uh, ASDM and now you can see that the tunnel is going to transition back over to there you go the tunnel has transitioned back over to the machine or the management tunnel and the name no longer Jerry is now Windows 10 VM-Test okay hopefully this is useful and thanks for watching